Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gage 3 Designs and I'm back with another episode. Revit 2019 here. This is the program I use to create all of my models when I'm doing my 3D renderings. And I want to do some tutorials here in Revit um, just to show how, you know, how to create walls and how to set up construction documents and just a lot of different things. Revit is a, a pretty good software to learn. AutoCAD is a good one. Um, ArchiCAD. There's, there's quite a few, but AutoCAD and Revit pretty much are pretty much the, the big ones that people use to create construction documents and and to lay out. But I, I you know, I started I started with AutoCAD, but I really gravitated towards Revit. But um, for now, I just want to show how to set up, you know, a basic footprint um, of a home and how to edit walls. So that being said, let's go ahead and start a new document and get started. All right, so for this, we're gonna go ahead and create new. And I always use the architectural template. Um, and I'll show you, you can go ahead, you can create your own templates or use any of these templates, but I always start with architectural. So let's go there. Okay, so you're here, you got a blank page. Um, so first thing, you have your walls. And if you click in your walls, Revit gives you some walls, some basic walls, some generic walls and some interior walls, but if you just click five inch wall, it's it says generic five inch wall and that's exactly what it is. Because usually if you go down here and click fine, you can start to see the details within your wall. But this being just a generic five inch wall, that's all it is. So you want to know what type of wall you're going to be using. Um, usually, let's say exterior, we're going to create a two by six. So we'll just go and select our wall, edit type, and we're going to duplicate and just call it two by six wall. Then we're going to go into edit. So edit, we have our, our structure here. So if we use a two by six, a two by six is actually five and a half. So let's go ahead and change that. We just put 5.5, five and a half, and let's select the material. Should load here. All right, and up here in this search bar, you can just type in lumber. Whoops, softwood lumber is fine. All right, so we got that. And then you want to insert an exterior and an interior. And you'll see that here, exterior side and interior side. So we're just gonna insert two, two new categories and we're gonna bump one up to the exterior. I'm gonna bump the other one all the way down. Whoop, not that one. Move that back to the center and pull this one down. All right, and this is just gonna be Call that finish one, call this finish two. Okay, and so for your exterior, let's just allow three quarters of an inch of siding. Um, it could be hardy lap siding. Um, we can just go in here for material and select siding. And you see there's no siding, but we can, you can actually come down here, you get siding clapboard. Let's just use this and let's give it a pattern like a four inch parallel. Yeah, that's good for now. And our inside, we got a half inch jip board. So half inch there, go to our materials, type in jip in a search. All right. And now we have our two by six wall built up. So now you have your wall. You know, it's always easier because if you just lay it out with using one of the generic walls, 
and then you go and try to change it it could it could screw up some dimensions and everything it, and you can always lock some walls and lock placement of things but it's just easier to just go ahead and knock this out first but let's go ahead and um, create our layout so let's just do and uh, let's just do because we're just going to create just a random random house let's just do like 48 feet Um, let's go 28 here. We're going to do like a 23. We'll cut back here about six feet. Yeah, we'll just do this. Something simple. And like I said, so when you have it on, go down here, you can click select fine. Then you can see the things in here and you can go into edit and manipulate uh, this wall so let's say you want your lumber to look a certain way you just go back into here then you have your selections here if you want your cut pattern to to look a certain way however you want to look make it look um, you just select it there and you'll be able to see it but you have to have it on fine usually it'll default to course and it looks like a generic wall but you just go ahead and select fine or you can just select the wall and see that you have a two by six wall so that's how you set up your wall and edit your wall um, that's how you get started the next videos we're going to continue with this house we're going to add a roof we're going to add doors we're going to add windows we're going to do everything so uh, stay tuned thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thanks